Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss this particular example based on minimax algorithm. Okay. So this is the question given to us. Consider the minimax game tree shown below. So this is the game search tree given to us. And what is the information? Decisions by max are represent as upward pointing triangles. So this you can see upward pointing triangles, right? So these are basically a max player. Okay. I hope you all know how this minimax algorithm works. You can watch my video on minimax algorithm in the playlist you can uh, search so that will be enough okay so here you can see max are represent as upward pointing triangles so these are the max players okay and decisions by mean are represent as downward pointing triangles so this is basically mean player and this is basically a mean player okay so small letter denote the outcomes of the game and this a b c d e f g h are the outcomes of this particular uh, game right so the and the value of this particular outcome is given in this particular table right so the value of each of the outcomes to the max players are as shown in the following table right here you can see the outcomes of this particular uh, tree right so here you can see 8 3 c is 1 d is 7 e is 2, F is 5, G is 6, and H is 4. Right? And we need to find out the values of two max nodes. So these are the max nodes. So we need to find out the value of this particular two nodes. Okay. So how, how this mini max algorithm works? So mean player will always try to select the minimum score. Okay. It will always try to minimize the score right minimize the score right for example you can see this mean player right so out of this g and h which one which one is having minimum value so h that is four right so what is the minimum right so this mean player will go in this particular direction because it's less chances of winning right so mean player will always try to minimize the chance of max player so in this direction there is less chances of a max player to win so that's why it will go in this particular direction and here you can see the value is 4 right so value of this particular node is 4 same here you can see right in all the four cases same thing at this particular point also it will try to minimize the score out of e and f which one is minimize which one is minimum e right that is 2 basically that is 2 so value of this particular node will be 2 at this particular point this mean player have two choices either he can play c or d but it will always try to select and minimize the score right to minimize the score so in this case it is c right so that will be one so the value of this particular node will be one same in this case also right so here you can see the mean player he has two chances a and b but it will always try to minimize the score so basically three right so in generally minimax algorithm we follow bottom up approach okay we go from bottom from the outcomes to find out the uh, chances of mean or max player okay so this is so this is what we follow in the minimax algorithm and if you observe the mean player will always try to minimize the score so out of these two possible values or outcomes c will be uh, selected for mean player one here two here and four here okay i hope this particular uh, thing is clear to everyone how we came to this particular three one two four okay because this is the work of mean player it will try to minimize the score so it will select the minimum outcomes from the uh, given outcomes right so for this node three for this node one for this node two and for this particular node four now we are interested in finding out the value of these two particular max node now what max player will do it will try to win the match it will try to win the match means it will try to it will always try it will always try to maximize its chance of winning right maximize chance of winning maximize the score we can say okay so how this mini max algorithm works there are two player mean player and max player so max player will always try to maximize its chance of winning and mean player will always try to minimize the chances of max player right so this is how we play the game right or any a game which we which involve two players right so that's how this particular uh, algorithm works now in the case of max player it will try to maximize the scores now out of these two parts two and four okay 
if max player follow this particular path then the chances of winning is more than this path right so it will go through this particular path so the, so, so at this particular point the value of this particular node is 4 okay similarly for max player for this max player okay at this similarly at this point also it will try to maximize its chances so value of this particular node at this particular point is 3 right so what are the values of two max node here basically 3 comma 4 okay 3 3 comma 4 will be the answer of this particular question okay very simple question you can expect such type of question for two marks okay in the gate exam it's not that difficult it looks difficult but very simple question if you understand what is minimax algorithm is you can solve any any type of question based on this okay and some in some and in some question they can also ask to find out the value of this particular root node for mean player now what mean player will do always try to minimize the score right now, out of 3 and 4 which one is having the minimum value 3 right so value of this particular node will be 3 right in some of the question they can ask for this particular value so this type of example you can expect in the minimax uh, algorithm in gate exam okay here only three levels are given and just this much nodes are given but in uh, gate exam there may be uh, more than five six uh, levels also or more number of nodes will be there so it doesn't matter the concept will remain the same okay very easy example I hope you understand how to solve such type of problems. Okay. So that's it from this particular tutorial. I hope you understand what is minimax algorithm. Simple problem. Uh, this type of tree will be given to you. You need to find out the value of each node. Right. So this will be enough for the gate exam. Okay. Thank you everyone. Bye bye.